Can we try it again? We are back with the Road to Master Challenge with every single character in Street Fighter 6. We're going to try and get all 18 characters to the highest rank in the game. Today is the first video on JP and that means we're going to be first doing an overview of the character. I'm not a JP expert by any means, but I'll give you the basic game plan and tools that you'll need to get started with your journey and then you can figure it out from there. And then we're going to hop straight into rank with everything we know so far and see what we can do. Before we get into the overview make sure to subscribe to the channel down below help the channel out a lot and let's get into it all right so jp is a zoning character and um he basically has two ranges that he is very strong at and you're basically going to be trying your best to uh get to those effective ranges the first is completely full screen this is where his zoning is the best so at full screen you can just pressure with your projectiles hit them with that to keep them locked down and then you also have a command grab when they decide to parry uh, in between them. Uh, the first one that I showed, it acts kind of like a projectile. There's a low overhead and mid version. So this is the overhead, it's the medium one. Heavy is the low and uh, light is the regular hit. They aren't exactly the same as normal projectiles because you can actually move between them. The actual hitbox isn't on the whole thing, but only when they do the slashy part at the end. Uh, and then moving on this spike thing, two downs and a punch you control where you want to send it um if you want to spend ex you can choose which two buttons you want to press actually medium uh, it doesn't do like a far and close one it does just a medium range one uh, this is also good to just send them away from you a little bit if it hits it's going to send them all the way back uh, and then the command grab quarter circle back kick i'm not sure if there's a difference between the versions yeah, I think they might be the same. And then the EX one just does more damage, I'm pretty sure. 2600 on that. Uh, so the basic game plan from far, um, you basically send these out to lock them down. This is your lockdown move. And then if you think they're about to move, then you hit them with a spike. So this will catch them jumping or trying to dash forward. And if you just do them one after another, they actually just combo. So if they're just holding up, they're going to they're gonna get hit. And the spike actually combos full screen into level 3. So a crazy super that he has just teleports straight to where the opponent is. Um, two quarter circle forwards and a kick. Teleports straight to them. And then the reason the command grab is so effective is because once they start parrying, um, that's the only way they're going to stop losing drive gauge. If they see this and they think it's one of those, they're going to be stuck in the parry animation. And this will actually punish counter them for a grip of damage. And then I think his other really effective range is when he has you cornered. Because now he has overhead and low mix-ups that actually lead into a combo. And if you set up the spike off of some knockdowns, you can also get another combo. I think we can get this into the spike into a level three if you do get that um and there's a couple ways to set this up i don't know all of them but one way that i found if you do the medium and then you set up an ex look at that you're plus two um in time for a throw so you just do this set that up and then boom spike uh, and then once again if they start parrying or if they're just not um, able to react it's pretty fast up close if you're not expecting it the command grab will get you that nice chunk of damage for the cash out. So those are his most effective ranges. So a lot of the times you're just going to be trying to get to full screen um, by pushing them back. So um, if they're right up close, you can do your lights. Um, this is his quarter circle forward special. It basically knocks them all the way back. So off of jabs, you go into the light. If you manage to land the target combo, you can go into medium. Same thing for medium kick. Um, in the EX version, you can actually go into level 1. I think I gotta do that immediately, actually. His stand fierce is his farthest, I think, cancelable poke. And even then, the range is not great. Um, but I think this is a good way to drive rush in. Go for this and push them back. Um, just get yourself a little bit more space because your opponent's going to be pressuring you. You're going to want to get out of the situation. You can also do crouch medium punch into it. And also, if you want to cash out and you see that it hit, you can go into crouch fierce off the drive rush. This doesn't normally combo. 
Um, but with the extra four frames from the dry brush, this is gonna actually combo, and then you can combo the level one. This one takes a little bit of timing though. Uh, or you can do this combo. This is, I think, like his BMB off of a uh, drive impact as well. After the thing, you send out another one, and then you can go into level three. A couple other useful normals as an overhead. Let's do something like that off an overhead. Um, he has a target combo. Stand heavy kick into fierce. I think this is mainly used for combos. It also has two enders. You can go into a low with the heavy kick or a overhead with the heavy punch. Um, talked about the overhead from before. Crouch forward fierce is a sweep. Um, with a little bit more range than this one. Off of a drive impact, you stand fierce into this, but you have to wait for them to crumple. It's not gonna work if they're grounded. You have to wait until they're actually crumpling, because then they're gonna actually be, you know, in the in the in the state where you can get the combo. Uh, in the corner, I actually don't know what's optimal. You can just do something like stand fierce into the spike. If you want to cash out a little bit, you can spend an ex on one of these. Do another spike. I forgot to mention beforehand, but another one of his specials, very important actually, is his quarter circle back special. Um, and it, after a period of time, sets out a spike. But the reason it's so good is not because of this. It is good though, because it lets you keep space uh, like this. So you can do stuff like this and it kind of protects you from them moving forward. But I think the real power behind it is getting all of your space back. Because let's say you've backed up all the way, you're close to the corner. You can just teleport out. Um, with medium or light. So you do quarter circle back and medium or light and you'll actually teleport to the hole you put in the sky. And if you do the EX version, light will do the closer one and if you do medium, it'll go to the farther one. So you can back up, do all your zoning. Zone, zone, zone. Oh, I'm back in there. Go this, oh, I'm in there. And then, boom in the offensive position. And then also, if you're all the way cornered, your opponent jumps at you, bam, air throw, reversed. Tables have turned. Um, other useful anti-airs, Crouch Fierce is a great one, probably your easiest one. Um, but for a heavy kick, you're gonna get more reward off of. You can do stuff like this, I think. I think someone did this to me. Yeah, maybe you can get two of them. I guess you can't really send it out. But you just do that and you're all in the way full screen again so great anti-air option this one's a little slower but huge reward this one is an easy option uh he also has a counter move it's two downs and a kick uh, i think the regular version is only um counter physical attacks uh and the ex version uh two kicks it actually beats throws as well um, and it doesn't actually do an attack after the, what it does is it sets out a bomb on them so let me show you what it looks like so now they have two bombs on them, and you can follow up with a combo if they actually get the hit. Um, maybe you can get a throw two after. No, it doesn't look like you can combo with a throw, but um, it forces them to back up a little bit. Because they're going to get hit with a combo like that. Uh, in terms of his supers, I already showed like the main uses for level 1 and level 3 that I know. You know, off of the heavy spike, you can get to level three. Off of um, like a boom, boom, you can go into level one. I gotta time that a bit better, but also the EX version. This level one, good amount of damage. Level two is the more tricky one. Um, basically, what it does is it sends out a couple of ghosts, and they do overheads and lows. So I think the first one is a regular attack, I'm guessing, and then low overhead, uh, I mean overhead, low overhead is what it looks like. I didn't actually test to see which ones do which, but I assume that's what happens. So it's great when they're in burnout because they don't have access to parry anymore. Um, so they're actually going to have to block all of it and you can just mix them up and eventually find a hit um, and convert off of it. But even if they're not in uh, burnout, you can get a throw. So if they're holding parry, you're at least guaranteed like a punish counter throws worth of damage because chances are they're gonna parry trying to uh 
<laughs> trying trying to avoid the ghost mix-ups. Um, so you're just gonna get get a free throw right here. Eventually, maybe they won't understand what's happening at first, so you can just mix them up with the lows and overheads. Um, so if you just you can kind of freestyle with it, just hit them a couple of times. You'll, you'll get a little bit of damage. Uh, the only real combos I know are from the Trials, um, so you can go ahead and do those um, if you want. Uh, the first one I think you do this, you do another one, set up a thing, do a medium, and then you do a spike. I think you do the light spike actually. Um, and then the other one is a drive um, drive impact combo. Uh, let me just show you guys an example. But basically what this does, you do one drive impact, that's one and a half drive gauges. You set up the level two, do another drive impact, and then one more drive impact. Look at that, four drive gauge gone already. So pretty much they're going to be burned out if you do a combo like this. All right, so that's pretty much everything I know about JP. I think the real skill isn't behind like the combos or whatnot. It's going to be the zoning and how well you can position yourself. You know, setting up the projectiles, keeping your opponent locked down, teleporting when you need to to get out of the situation. Like there's gonna be a lot of mix-ups that pop up with all, all the shenanigans that he has. I think the zoning is going to be what's going to win you the games though. The setups are just like the cherry on top, um, but they will be cool to know. I don't know like the, the really fancy setups yet. Um, I probably won't since I'm not really planning on maining JP, um, but uh, once you learn the basics of the zoning, you can then go and figure those things out. So with that being said, um, with that overview, let's go into our ranked matches and see what we can do. those up there This is easy. No! You just gotta not let him get in. Okay, 2 1, not bad. I think it's light kick that's a cross up. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm not even playing the game. I'm just watching what's happening on my screen. All right, let's try to get the 2-0. This isn't looking so good. I can be placed in gold? Oh, nah. Kind of far from master. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Try it again. Okay. Now we landed a decent looking combo. out of gold. Level 2! <laughs> okay, this is a very high stakes round right here.
GG. I think I'm definitely going to play Jury a lot. I'm trying to figure out some other character that I want to play. I don't think JP is going to be one of them. <laughs> I try to get sneaky on him. Oh no, am I going to lose? Alright, ranking up from gold to platinum is actually really fast if you deserve it, actually. I just want to style on him a little bit. Alright, so that's going to be it for day one of our JP. I didn't even know that I could, I could get placed this low, but, you know... You gotta start somewhere and um, today we made it all the way back up to platinum one I think with 13,148 points um, It's definitely gonna take a little bit longer I think I just needed like some warm-up to get used to the character get used to his neutral the way that he plays like his normals just um, are not as good as the other characters I've been playing. You really have to go to that zoning. Um, I also just wasn't anti-airing as well as I probably could have. I think I was just focusing on the projectile game too much. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty, pretty long road to master. This might be the longest road to master for one of these characters, but we're going to make sure to do it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to see all of the videos. We're going to do more character overviews, more road to master videos. So subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.